Day 222 of the war in Gaza, the IDF suffered its first fatality in Rafah since the start of the offensive in the Gaza border city. Israeli tanks moved deeper into eastern Rafah, reaching some residential districts where more than one million people had been sheltering after being displaced from other areas in Gaza. IDF tanks advanced west of Salah Khaldin Road and into Rafah neighborhoods. They're in the streets inside built-up areas, and there are ongoing clashes between IDF soldiers and Hamas gunmen. The IDF said its forces had eliminated several armed cells in close quarter fighting in the Gazan side of the Rafah border crossing with Egypt. In the east of the city, it's destroyed cells of gunmen and a launch post from where missiles are being fired at IDF troops. The IDF said that over Israel's Independence Day, troops killed more than 100 terror operatives across Gaza amid operations in Rafah, Zeytun, and Jabalia. A civilian was killed and five troops hurt by a Hezbollah anti-tank guided missile fired into northern Israel. Hezbollah had targeted a military position near the northern community of Adami. At least three missiles were launched in the attack. An Israeli civilian who arrived at the military post following the first missile strike that wounded the troops was hit by a second missile. The man later died of his wounds. The IDF said it struck buildings used by Hezbollah in southern Lebanon's Atya Ashab and Kafar Kila in response to the attack. Later, a top Hezbollah field commander was killed in an IDF drone strike last night in Tyre. Hussein Maki was a senior commander in the terror group's so-called Southern Front Unit. The IDF said Maki planned and carried out many terror attacks against Israel during the cross-border exchanges. The U.S. is sending Israel $1 billion in military aid. President Biden told key lawmakers that his administration is sending a new package of arms and ammunition, tanks, and tactical vehicles. It's the first arms shipment to Israel to be announced by the administration since it put on hold another arms transfer consisting of 3,500 high-payload bombs. The administration paused the earlier transfer to keep Israel from using the bombs in its growing offensive in the crowded southern Gaza city of Rafah.